would you say that home life has been improving? And those social exercises, have you been doing those? I wouldn't say improving. Uh, living with these two is like borderline insanity. Um, it's kind of like living with a mime and his bitchy girlfriend. Excuse me, not everyone can live with their life all planned out. You need to take that stick out of your ass. I see. Well, I know staying cooped up at home could be a trigger buildup for anger and depression. Um, how much exercise are you getting? Ah, exercise! Unless you count getting up from the couch to get a bag of Cheetos exercise, that's a no from these fat bastards. Well, we can't all be uh, anorexic. Uh, who wants to like wake up in the morning and go to the mirror and see Skeletor every day? Well, it's better than waking up and looking like the blob that ate everything out of the fridge. It sounds like we're focusing on the negative, and that's not why we're here, is it? What do you think is different today than last time we had our visit? This is a total joke. I don't know why you think this is helping. How about we all put some fucking effort into this instead of blowing it off and complaining? Um, or is that too much to ask, princess? What's different? What kind of dumbass question is that? I think what she's trying to say here is that we need to work out our anger issues and not lash out at people like we're some kind of raging bitch. What I'm saying is, both can be destructive ways to handle situations. Lashing out just pushes others away, and the constant need to correct what may be considered flaws pulls at others' insecurities. Oh, so I'll need to go to school for four years and get a doctor so we can just tell people that their actions are dumb. Yeah, that's. <laughs> no, not all of us are smart enough to get a four year degree, so they just go around and tell others that they're wrong to make them feel like they matter. All I know is that all the degrees I have and all the knowledge I have, uh... You have no knowledge, They listening. tell me that you, you don't always have knowledge wrong. until no, you've been out no. on the street. You wouldn't know knowledge if it hit you in the face. Uh, it has hit me in the face, like, all the time. Don't you have no idea. Just, just no, if you would listen to me, no, would you listen? I'm the one who... No, would you... I'm the one who finds it all the time. better since you and I have been doing our one-on-ones. You know, I, after your session, I, I feel like one myself, you know? It's hard to explain. But, you know, that's for next time. Uh, same time next week, Doc? Session 79 When Jeremy first came to me, he was having sleepless nights, depression, heavy mood swings, and trouble coping in social settings. What seemed like a routine case soon became clear. There was more that meets the eye. Even now, it seems that Jeremy is unaware that he holds two other very dominant personalities. I fear I may need to find a new approach to dealing with Michael and Liz or risk losing what's left of Jeremy forever. <laughs> <laughs>